here, in this very same room, um, a, a video against ACTA. Uh, the week of its release, it became the video number 52 most viewed on YouTube. And since then, it reached something like 3 million views in total. Uh, since last year, we, the Internet, uh, defeated uh, SOPA and PIPA in the US and defeated ACTA in the European Parliament. And well, thank you. I mean, you're, you're clapping yourself for yourself. Um, we d collectively defeated um, ACTA, and this is a major political victory. Uh, one year before, we knew we would win, but everybody else told us that it was impossible. It was impossible, yet we did it. So this is extremely important in our movements. We now have a, a very strong experience on how to oppose those bad legislations. We know that they will continue to come one after another. Uh, afterwards, we'll have uh, POPA, SIPA, uh, CETA, etc., etc., etc. You've seen yesterday at the Oscars the, the, um, the name generator. So we now, we're getting better and better at defeating those bad legislations. But now is a very important time in the history of our uh, movements because we now have the political momentum to push forward um, a positive agenda. We, we now have enough uh, political uh, strength to request that something is done instead of waiting for the next uh, bad legislation. And we want things to change, right? We want to make this world a better place, and part of it is to change those restrictive policies that ban us from uh, exercising our culture based on sharing, based on remixing, based on copy-pasting. So we want those cultural values of sharing, remixing, copy-pasting to be encouraged by law instead of being combated. So this is what we call the, the, the positive agenda for reforming those copyright policies, for um, building a framework in which our cultural practices will, uh, w w will thrive, will be encouraged. So we are convinced that this is now the only thing to do to end this absurd war on sharing, is to, instead of... <laughs> Instead of being uh, always defending ourselves, now we should be offending to end war on sharing. And so in, in the last years, we, we're not uh, beginning from scratch here, because in the last years, many initiatives, all of them incredibly valuable, have appeared. We as La Quadrature du Net have, have published our uh, 14 proposals, the elements for the reform of uh, copyright and um, uh, cultural policies. The Free Culture Forum has published uh, a, a few years before that the Charter for Innovation and Free Culture and etc. Um, the, 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 the Polish people, and, and some of them are in the audience here, uh, have done a tremendous amount of work uh, towards a positive reform of their copyright regime. Uh, the Comunia uh, initiative published fantastic guidelines for preserving uh, the, the public domain. And so this is actually where we start. We have a multitude of initiative and actors who all produced such valuable material. And we must see this as a, a, a tremendous richness, as a sign that our movement is maturing. It's not a, a bad thing that we have so many different initiatives and so many documents. It's strength. It's the way it happens on the internet. You know, it's um, co-opetition in a way that we see here in action. And so what, what we'll be trying to do over the course of this Free Culture Forum is to take all this fantastic input and turn it into a very uh, modest, at first, yet very concrete document that would be some kind of an uh, action list, some kind of political action list for a positive agenda that will help us get to the positive reform we are calling for. In, in my view, and 
I think that what we are presenting here, and Philip, right after that, will tell you about the, the process. I think that this is just a, a, a start of an idea. We will start by discussing all together of where we get and how we get there. But our idea so far is that we want to get a short list of key political actions that we all agree, the Free Culture Forum, uh, the, the Polish people, the Comunia people, La Quadrature du Net, and the, 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 the Quince M, that everybody we will agree are the most important and the most necessary step to take. And I think that we can do together is turn these elements into one very concrete action, not big pieces of uh, legalese and blah, blah, but very concrete political action with a, a, a political and a legal meaning, and also to, to build some political messaging around it. This is what the Free Culture Forum, and this is what the, the Spanish people do so well with the Oscars and, and fantastic social movement, is to turn political ideas into very simple messages that everyone can understand. So if at the end of this weekend, we manage to have a two page, four page, small number of page document that summarizes political messages of what we collectively want as the next actions for a positive reform of copyright, I think it will be a, a tremendous um, uh, platform upon which we will uh, be able to detail this into concrete legal steps, into concrete legal wording, into which EU directive we want to change, in which article with which wording. But let's start modestly with this objective, if you agree. Philippe, about the process? Just, uh, just one, one additional point. One additional point before moving to the process is that not only are the citizens of Europe producing lots of uh, positive agenda reform, for reform, but also now we see popping uh, much more dubious initiatives that claim to do the same thing and uh, uh, to, to stand uh, in a just milieu pr uh, position between the various interests. The si uh, and one important thing is that the points we will put together they must be clear enough, uh, precise enough, so, so it becomes obvious for anybody that uh, uh, the people we will put forward sort of uh, 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 fake reform agendas, they will, it will be self-evident just by comparing them with the, the element. That's why it's so important that we have a vast group of people endorsing the document, even if it calls for a relatively uh, uh, tedious process to reach that. Uh, now, to the process. Uh, the presence of uh, Richard Stallman here is, is extremely timely for, to describe this process because there are, there are significant parts of the process that are that are take inspiration from the revision of the general public license, the GNU general public license, that uh, achieved the production of the GPL version three. Uh, uh, what we suggest is that out of this meeting, as Jeremy said, we have a, a, a political action list that is produced, uh, which is at the level of uh, at a moderate le level of detail, uh, but clear enough so that we know what is compliant or not with that. And we have checked among all the various groups and people who are represented here that we can build a consensus and stand behind this proposal. So this document, we will put it into, uh, uh, as an initial draft, into uh, a commenting system, which actually is a, a byproduct of a, a comment tool that was used during the revision of the general public license, uh, which uh, I, I will, uh, uh, let's say, donate to the process. And, uh, and we will have a process based on rounds of commenting and redrafting. Uh, but this is not, uh, between commenting and redrafting, 
there are, there are phases of discussion, of identifying issues that need to be solved to move forward uh, beyond possible disagreements, beyond uh, uh, possible misunderstandings. Uh, uh, so uh, in, in the rest of the discussion here, we, we must also agree on some details of how we will solve, uh, uh, how we will get from one round of comments to a revision producing the new draft. Uh, there, we cannot uh, copy exactly the process of the general public license because it's a, it's a different document that we are producing. It's not a constitution for free software. It's, a, it's the agenda of a political movement. And so uh, I think we need, we need input from, from you also on how to, uh, to do that. But the idea is to, uh, that at each stage, all each group that has already contributed uh, to the, uh, the development of re reform platforms uh, should be given a voice to comment on the, the, the new steps. Jeremy, you want to add something on the process? Um, no, I, I, think, I think that's it. Um, yeah, what you said about those fake reforms popping up uh, is extremely important because we are here to make no compromise, right? We're not the compri compromising ones. What we want is free as freedom culture for all, is no all knowledge for all. And those people who are working with uh, those audiovisual groups or DRMs, and I'm not targeting those French ones in particular, but those people who want to sell us crap uh, will play on the fact that we have this diversity in proposals. They will say, oh look, they, can even, they cannot even agree on their proposals. So all compromising proposals are de facto the, the, the best ones. This is an exercise that is much more difficult to agree on the proposals than to agree on very simple messages such as no to ACTA. So I think it is uh, a difficult exercise and that we are all responsible for making it happen. And I think it, it may be difficult, but that it's really, really worth trying. Um, I hope that at this stage there might be m maybe some questions already. Yeah, I, uh, I just forgot. Uh, I have to say something before all this to explain why we do this, and I forgot. So maybe I should do it now. Do you mind? Uh, I, I will do it in Spanish. So because uh, I explain you briefly, because I want to link. Uh, we want as XNet. The idea was to link uh, the fact that we speak about models. Uh, uh, and that we think that the model of sharing, the sharing platform, et cetera, et cetera, are the model to solve the problem of the model. And for this, we have to touch legislation in the sense of the... Pre so I want to explain it in Spanish. Okay. Uh, in Castellano. Me he olvidado que Xnet quería explicar por qué eh, pasamos de hablar de los modelos a una agenda positiva del copyright. Porque no es solamente lo que están explicando ellos, eh, que sí, que también, que ya llevamos tiempo pensando una vez eliminadas las leyes nefastas, cómo reformar esta situación, como han explicado ellos, para que sea favorable a lo que queremos, que es la circulación de cultura, etcétera, etcétera. Sino también, un poco lo hemos explicado ayer en los Oscars, el modelo que nosotros queremos impulsar dentro del contexto del capitalismo para dar la vuelta a la lucha del copyright y, y hackear el, problema de las, el, pro, el falso problema de las industrias culturales es lo de promover lo que ya están haciendo las plataformas de intercambio, o sea que el modelo de difusión también con retorno económico sea a través de las plataformas P2P, de intercambio, torre, etc. Entonces, en este contexto, eh, por eso eh, en los Oscar hemos hablado mucho de Taringa, de Cuefana, de Megaupload, de Megabox, etcétera, etcétera. O sea, que se haya un retorno económico de, de la publicidad al, eh, también al, a los autores saltándose los intermediarios, como es el modelo de Megabox. Eh, y por esto, aquí hay topa de, de lleno en un problema concreto que viene a, a, a principio de todo el tema de la propiedad intelectual, a sus inicios en el propio convenio de Berna, eh, que es el derecho autorizatorio que tienen los artistas. O sea, nosotros podemos, eh, la única cosa que realmente de momento no podemos hackear porque el convenio de Berna lo impide es que atribuye 
a los artistas un derecho autorizatorio, mientras que nosotros queremos introducir el meme de que la creación de cultura ontológicamente implica la publicación de cultura y entonces hacerlo público y que una vez que una cosa es pública no tiene que eh, ser restringida de ninguna manera, sino solo por derechos morales que son de otro ámbito. Y eh, esto se podría hacer excepto que top, topa con los derechos autorizatorios. Entonces, eh, esto era para nosotros una bisagra para decir, eh, hay que atacar en la memética legal, eh, hay que seguir haciendo lo que estamos haciendo, se intercambiar con cultura y conocimiento, a pesar que la ley, eh, por ejemplo, en este aspecto no lo permite, porque esto es desobediencia civil, normal y corriente, como hacemos muchas otras cosas en nuestras vidas, y que pero hay mucho trabajo que se está haciendo en el FC Forma y la Carta, y hay compañeros que vendrán, eh, que están aquí en la sala de otras plataformas como Comunia y, y que han hecho recomendaciones legales con las que se están eh, eh, empujando y, y presionando cambios legislativos. Y entonces la idea es que a partir de esta tarde hay un taller que eh, eh, llevará a la gente de la cuadratura y eh, Floren, que es de la Universidad de Granada y un grupo de trabajo para eh, juntar todos, todos esto y hacer lo que Jeremy y Filipa acaban de explicar. Esto es un poco la aportación y el significado que desde XNet queremos dar a este trabajo. Entonces, dicho todo esto, un poco caótico, lo siento. Si hay preguntas sobre esto, si no, estáis invitados a participar al taller eh, de esta tarde y también a las 8 eh, se amplía todavía más, pero empiezan por la tarde y mañana también. ¿Questions? Era un poco insistir un poco el mensaje que estaba dando Simona, que toda esta fase de luchas defensivas ¿no? ha sido muy importante toda la victoria, pero que creemos que siguiendo el, el ejemplo del marco civil de Internet, ¿no? que, que creo que es una referencia muy importante a tener en cuenta, porque ha, ha pasado, bueno, ha sido un proceso colectivo de una legislación hecha en Internet, todo transparente por los usuarios y que ahora mismo está en el Parlamento brasileño a punto de ser aprobada y creo que es un punto muy importante de también trabajar con, con esa experiencia si lo habéis tenido en cuenta ya. Era una pregunta retórica porque el objetivo, eh, o sea, vamos a ponerla online y hacer el proceso que... Eh, um, ¿Do you understand the question? Yes, yeah. I, I think I understood the question that it's very, very important to take into account the, the process like the macro civil internet Uh, in Brazil, uh, if we do things right with this process, with a, a modest objective for this weekend to be able to agree on those political objectives, then the, the process can continue in as many iterations as possible until it reaches the, the finest uh, level of detail possible in legal terms. As Philippe ju just mentioned uh, uh, to me when, when Simona was, uh, was saying that, For instance, legalizing the sharing between individuals, not for profit, would probably take three words in the EU legislation. So if the process is right, if we are enough to agree on common objectives, if the process is legitimate and efficient, then hopefully we will get there. Okay. Ten words. Thank you very much, and, and then we start working after uh, this afternoon at, at four in the other in the other room in la otra habitación acá. An additional detail uh, uh, on methodology: uh, when when we will start working, there will be a point of obvious consensus between us. Okay, so that's these points we we just word them. Then there will be point of uh, uh, where, where there is some dissent, and the dissent can be, uh, uh, and often it's the most difficult one to solve on, uh, on tactics, actually, rather, or the dissent can be on the, the relevance to do one thing. Right? Uh, uh, in these cases, uh, uh, we, will, we will try 
to, uh, to state, to express both views, uh, and to have a, a clear description of the nature of a dissent, and then to, to let more, more discussion proceed, either here or later, and uh, if we can't, we, if we can't solve uh, a dissent on, on tactics, uh, we, we will have really to take a decision. If we can't send a dissent uh, on the relevance of one particular action, we will have to consider if this action is really felt as absolutely uh, uh, necessary by its proponents, but if it is not, then we, it, will, it will not become part of the common platform. Huh? Uh, I mention this because it's not just, uh, there are, there are proposals for, for the reform of copyright uh, to remove the obstacles that the present copyright uh, uh, creates for what we want to achieve, but there are also ref proposals for for policies to facilitate what we achieve, or things that are statement of rights, like the Internet Bill of Rights. And uh, the, the issues we are, we are going to face are not the same for the three varieties. So uh, please uh, come with the spirit of a constructive work this afternoon, and, <laughs> and enjoy in the between. Estamos llegando al cierre, entonces es un cierre de la sesión aquí, espero que haya sido útil, realmente nos falta una parte todavía muy útil que son los talleres que vamos a empezar a las 8 en Conservas, que será un taller sobre el tema de transparencia para ver cómo nos organizamos para hacer frente a la presentación por parte del Partido Popular con mayoría absoluta de esta nefasta ley de transparencia cosmética que nos tendremos que tragar durante muchos años si no la paramos. Eh, habrá, eh, eh, seguirá el taller de, de, democracia, de um, democracia en red eh, que estaba trabajando aquí ayer eh, también a las 8 y luego eh, los compañeros ahora nos explican brevemente el trabajo que están haciendo y también los compañeros que están trabajando el Memopol seguirán a las 8. O sea, nos vamos de aquí a Conserva para trabajar, a Conservas, calle San Pablo 58 para trabajar trabajar una horita más. Eh, la gente de Xnet que hemos estado trabajando, preparando el foro, que eh, Madish, Gala, Toret, eh, yo, Jeron, eh, esperamos haber eh, aportado algo útil a, a esta lucha. Y damos muchas gracias también a María, que se ha currado pues, un montón de cosas de producción. A la gente de Comunia, sin que todo esto no hubiese funcionado para nada. A Ciudadanos Cero que está ahí dejándose los dedos y a toda la gente que está ayudando para levantar esto y la lucha sigue. Ok, so, uh, hola. Um, so, I understand that we have just five minutes to show you um, Uh, what is actually work in progress, uh, but work in, actually we made huge progress, I think. Um, here around the table are uh, representatives from uh, Comunia, from uh, the, the Polish people, and from uh, <laughs> la, la Quadrature du Net. And um, the most... And the forum. And the forum, indeed. And so those were our main sources of inspiration to get to this uh, plan. So the plan is to get to uh, a concrete list of political objectives that lead to legal strategies that can be further uh, detailed into concrete uh, legislative actions such as uh, Marco Civil, the Internet, on the um, example of the, the, the Brazilians. Uh, what we agreed on, what is, I think, the, the most important is the uh, overall structure of this document which uh, you can see in, in bold character, uh, bold uppercase character, is one section about the basic cultural rights of individuals, with points such as the uh, legitimation of non-market sharing between individuals, including the reuse, which is the remix, and a provision of means to this activity, which is basically legalized sharing, period. We have the rights of citizens towards public domain, DRM uh, must allow uh, legal uses, 
uh, etc. You have another section that is the collective and institutional rights, uh, which concerns uh, such organizations as libraries um, and the, the, the copies of public domain works made available to everyone and things like that. Uh, you have a section about fair cultural economy and financing where uh, shall be uh, concrete uh, statements of how to move uh, forward uh, onto um, uh, resource pooling, uh, voluntary or compulsive resource pooling mechanisms, um, fair publishing and distribution contracts, for instance, and a more generic section about the positive copyright framework, which uh, uh, general um, uh, provisions we want to see in a positive copyright framework that didn't fit in previous sections, such as defining a positive status for the commons and the public domain, um, and uh, reducing the term of copyright. So for each of these sections, you can see that we have a small number of items. We are uh, quite uh, satisfied, uh, if not... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there used to be a pad on this screen, believe me. Um, we, we, we're quite satisfied that uh, it is only 14 uh, items in total uh, on which we, we arrived, and that's for the... Uh, it's dead. Um, no, it's dead. Um, so, uh, so what are the next steps? Uh, the next steps, is, as you may have seen, no, no, the, the, it just went down. It's, it's okay. Um, as you may have seen, there was only one of those items that we properly developed, that we properly drafted as a one sentence uh, description of this item. So this is the level of detail we want to provide for the whole plan. We want for, for the first iteration of the for, whole For plan. the first iteration, indeed, that is. So on top, thank you. On the top of this pad, you can see... Um, just a little... Yes, just a little uh, bond. Here? No, here. no. Yeah. Is uh, stating the principle that non-market sharing of works between no, individuals... No, yeah, this is here, it's done. Including the reuse of... These works in new creative or expressive pieces should not be restricted by copyright. It should apply to all works that have been distributed to the public commercially or not. So this is, for this iteration, the level of detail we want to achieve for, for everything. Uh, we hope, uh, as well as implementation strategies, which are orientations for implementing that in the law. So we want to achieve this level of detail for all of the 14 items and deliver that, we think, by the 5th of November. At this stage, you will be made aware of a commenting platform using the system comment on which you will all be um, invited to, uh, to make a first round of comment. That will help us in turn to open the second round of drafting and so on and so on. So this is where we stand now. It is modest, but uh, we believe uh, through extensive uh, discussions and a little bit of trolling um, that, <laughs> that the, the structure we, we have here is solid, is robust, and can take uh, whatever it needs to take. So indeed, we're ready to uh, put that into question as well as the rest. But we're satisfied with this structure and this work plan. So we hope to have the honor to deliver this and that you will make the honor to participate but in further stages. Uh, not just you, but also everybody yeah. you think is worth uh, inviting to these processes. Uh, at That's international upper level. Case, upper uh, case you. And uh, I also would like to thank uh, the people who have participated in the most painful initial steps, and uh, some of them are sitting here, uh, because they went through really uh, what was a chaotic discussion, but out of it oh. uh, emerged uh, 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 some real uh, benefit. Uh, to total. Total. Uh, uh, just to add a very quick, uh, sorry, a, a bit technical uh, plan, is that some of the items were obviously connected to building a free peer-to-peer -peer culture online, but not directly linked to the positive agenda for copyright reform. So we put them in some kind of a post phase, where we say, indeed, free culture implies a free and open internet, which means 
uh, net neutrality, the right to anonymity, uh, sovereignty over personal data and communications, etc., etc. So this is the, the miscellaneous list that we preferred in the end to put in a different section. So this plus an intro that is a declaration of intent um, are also an important, uh, important parts of this document. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Y me he olvidado de decir una cosa, lo mismo que se hará con la, el trabajo que están haciendo ellos, una cosa, que también Floren, que me he olvidado mencionar lo del FC Forum, ha estado ocurriendo, como lo teníamos encerrado en un cuartucho con ellos, me he olvidado de mencionarlo, pero se ha pegado un curro tremendo ahí, non-stop. Luego, que igual como este proyecto se pondrá para que, como con el marco civil de Internet se subirá online para que pueda ser comentado, lo mismo el trabajo que se ha hecho ayer en el grupo de trabajo del crowdfunding, en que es, es una mejora del documento que, que se ha publicado. Eh, ayer se han hecho unas críticas, todo esto se colgará y se reformará colectivamente el documento online. Y por último, si necesitáis información, eh, si, si queréis seguir en contacto con esto, todos estos procesos que están saliendo de esta, uh, de, de esta edición del FC Forum, escribís a info.fcforum.net y os ponemos en la lista, donde es una lista donde no pasa mucho, pero solo se informa cuando los dispositivos están preparados, entonces es una lista muy quieta que nos atascará mucho el correo. Gracias. Ah, nos uh, vamos a conservas. Another eh. point, we are going to give you uh, the URL of the etopad on which we are going to post, to continue the drafting. It's for you, you, you can, we want to work in the open air uh, towards us, uh, but don't draft at this stage because it's, it's already, there is already enough of a mess uh, without your, uh, your assistance. Uh, the, the commenting will be from 5th of November if we meet our target, uh, and it will be another address. Huh? Uh, okay. Pues nada, sí, no va. Muchas gracias por venir y seguimos que la lucha sigue en tener libre barbarie.